Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome content. Sorry guys, I've been real busy lately, so that's why you didn't get a video uh, on Monday. But let's get into some Rebels talk because I had a good thing I wanted to speculate about. So let's get into it. We all love Rebels, and it's getting better every single season. But as one smart person said, good things to an end, they must come. Hmm? As is the case with Rebels. Right now, we are two years behind A New Hope, and we know from Rogue One that Hera Syndulla is alive and well in the Rebellion. But who thought she would ever leave that? Um, most likely, her career will keep going there for as far as the eye can see. But honestly, who cares about Hera? What we all want to know is about our three Jedi, Ahsoka, Kanan, and Ezra. The three controversial ones. And as you know, Ezra and Kanan specifically create a ton of plot holes. Yoda knows about them. Um, they're Jedi in a time where, according to Yoda, they're Jedi are no more. So instead of speculating on information that I would have to use a Jedi mind trick to get out of important people, let's just speculate on the longest possible time that the Rebels can get into. Ezra and Kanan have six years to cease being Jedi or cease their existence as a whole. Okay, episode over. Bye-bye. Okay, fine, I'll explain. Right now, we are two years before A New Hope. So, where did I get six years from? Well, technically the canon of there being only Luke Skywalker as the only Jedi that Yoda knows of takes place in Return of the Jedi right before Yoda's death. Empire Strikes Back is three years after the end of New Hope, and Return of the Jedi is one year after that. So, two years plus three years plus one year, six years in case you failed basic math. When they hit the six year mark when Luke is with Yoda, when he tells Luke that after he's gone, the last of the Jedi, you will be, they are now creating plot holes. Now you guys know I don't like speculations that are not factual, so trust me when I say I wish anything can happen applies here, but it's not true because rebels have limited themselves extremely. When rebels made it known that Yoda, one, uh, knows of the existence of Kanan and Ezra and Ahsoka, this specifically means that these characters will not make it to those six years. If they did, Yoda would not have said what he said to Luke before he died. So that right there just kind of messes everything up as far as their survival goes. Um, and yes, it is a Disney show that doesn't get all Game of Thrones and George R.R. Martin with killing off the main characters. But let's be honest, there's not too many options left besides all three of them losing their force attunement. So take that one with a grain of salt. That's your silver lining is that maybe maybe they'll just lose their force attunement. And that's why Yoda said what he said, because Luke is the only actual Jedi that still has the force. But like I said, I think a death will make much more sense. But wait, this means that Rose could easily go into the Battle of Hoth and the first Death Star and maybe even have some more of Darth Vader in there. So, I mean, while there are dark days ahead for our three uh, Jedi characters from Rebels, I think there's also a lot of potential for revisited scenes from the original trilogy to look forward to. Maybe even some uh, some ways to fill in behind the scenes of what happened uh, during the events while Luke, Khan, and Leia were doing this this was going on in the background uh, with Ezra and Kanan. I think that honestly opens the door for a lot more kind of expanded universe, things that we'd normally get from the book. Um, so, I mean, yes, I'm excited about that. Um, you know, maybe they even throw in a cameo of Luke, Leia, and Han. Maybe they happen to meet them. They just don't know they're Jedi or, or anything like that. Uh, but all in all, yes, Ahsoka, Kanan, and Ezra will have to either be dead or have their force attunement lost by the events of Revenge of the Return of the Jedi. Um, or, I mean, they could have left to never be heard from again, but that wouldn't fit Ezra and Kanan's profiles. Uh, I would say that wouldn't fit Ahsoka's, but we don't know where she is right now or what happened to her, uh, which is a whole other discussion that I, uh, I want to speculate on. Um, but what do you guys think will happen to them? Do you guys think they'll make it all the way to episode 6? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more galactic content and giveaways and overall Star Wars fun.